Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial of Echo Ambience Creator. In this video I'll be showing you how you can get started using Echo, how to create ambience for your scenes, and how it just works overall. So let's get right to it. As you can see in this scene right here, it's raining, it's at night, no background music whatsoever, no audios, no ambience, it has no atmosphere really, it's pretty lame and boring. This is where Echo comes in and it'll help us out to create beautiful ambience that makes your games much more immersive. Right, so let's get right to it. I'll start off by creating an empty game object using the hierarchy. Add component Echo Ambience Creator. Now, you can't start using Echo without creating a profile first. As you can see, if I try to include any audio, it gives me an uh, and a warning, you need to add a profile first before including audios. So let's create a profile. Uh, there are two ways to create a profile. The first one is pretty easy. You just click on the new button right here. As you can see, it created a, a profile and it set it as the current profile in use, as the default one right here. The second one is right clicking here, going to create, echo ambience creator, and then ambience profile. But we're not going to use this because we already created one. Uh, let's 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 add audios. We've got night. We can pre preview an audio before actually including it. So let's try it. Okay, I'll be adding this one. As you can see, a test ambience button has appeared. Using test ambience button. Uh, it'll play all of the audios that you have added so you can fix the properties set their properties however you like uh, until you reach that perfect mix let's add something else it's, it was raining so let's add rain light rain include I'll add some crickets. Some void. little bit of music siren Pressing on the purple buttons will minimize the audio blocks for inspector space to save inspector space. So that's cool you got that. Yeah, I think this is awesome, guys. I think this is good enough for the scene. Now we can start the game.
So yeah, uh, there are APIs that you can use uh, to add or remove audios dynamically because Echo Ambience Creator is really like a manager for you see for your scene. Uh, I will not be addressing these APIs in this video or any other video. All of the APIs are uh, listed in the documentation with examples on how to use them. They're extremely easy. Thank you for watching, guys.